Hi guys, my name is Tina, and this is going to be a Tina talk. And yes, I'm bad, so pardon me if I like struggle on speaking because I haven't done a video in the longest time. So I'm just gonna say I might stutter a lot. With that said, let us know. That said, let us now go on to our topic for today. If you guys, if you guys, if you got <laughs> If you guys know me personally, you know, you would know I'm not the most poised person in the world. So, I don't know why I want to share this to you guys. I guess I just, I don't know, it'd be a, you know, it'd be a laugh. So, you know, might as well. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to share to you guys my five most embarrassing moments, ranking it from the least most embarrassing into the most embarrassing. And guys, you know, pardon me if you think this would happen, the circumstances would happen to you and you don't think it's embarrassing, then you know what, I'm sorry, but I do find it embarrassing. So, starting with number five. Ow. Number five, for all you guys who, you know, wear lipsticks, you guys would probably have this instance too. So, one time I was at church and I was wearing this super bright pink lipstick. Yeah, and you know, after a while talking and having drank, kind of gathered on my lip and created like this white saliva looking thing on my lips it's like it's like dried up saliva so it's pretty gross and I only noticed it when I was about to leave the church so you know needless to say I'm a, I, you know I'm a very friendly person and I talk to everybody so you know everybody was looking at me on my lips like that you no know, I thought they were just you know appreciating my beauty but you know no they were looking at my lips and how gross it was you know what people you should always just tell me if there's something wrong with my face okay it's better that you tell me than me embarrass myself with everybody else so it's better it's better to just you know just stop it with you if you tell me I have a booger then thank you I would appreciate that more than not telling me at all number four okay this one is a little bit I think common as well but it's for everybody you know whether you're a girl or a guy you probably have done this so I was at school in our SDA building and there, there's an elevator there and I was alone you know and I had a bad lunch basically and I was alone and it was like two floors away from my floor and my destination so you know I was like you know, let's give it a go. I, I, I farted. A big fart. Like, the warm kind of fart. Like, it's hot. You know, you feel it. And I farted, so I was like, hmm, nobody's gonna know. <laughs> and then, one floor away from my destination, it stops, and then when it opens, there's like a bunch and a lot of like people, like groups of people that were waiting to go inside the elevator. And I was like, shit, I'm gonna smell it. <laughs> So when I went inside and the doors closed, everybody was like, <sighs> and I was like, <sighs> <sighs> pretending, you know, I didn't know anything about it. Anyways, you know, I'm a senior. I'm gonna graduate, you know, a few terms from now, so I don't really care. So I just went out and pretty much I blushed all the way. But yeah, you know, it was pretty embarrassing because they probably knew it was me. Yeah. Number three, I was in our convention. I was in our national student convention when I was in high school and I used to do like dialogues, monologues and all those acting stuff. And of course when you're acting, you're gonna have to have costumes. And I was acting like a mom. So I was wearing this shawl, you know, this cover up that was knitted and brown. And it was kind of a little bit linty, you know, because it's furry-ish. And I was just wearing it, and it was super hot in our location where the event is being held. And it was so hot, so I just decided, you know what, just wipe my face. I wasn't wearing makeup anyways, so I was just wiping my face with that shawl. And I was greeting everybody I know from different schools and different, you know, like cities and places around the Philippines. I was saying hi to all of them. And you know, some of them, they were just laughing at me. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not really funny, so they're probably just, you know, they think I'm funny. That's why they're laughing at me. And then they're just looking at my face. And then sometimes I think they look at my face because of my eyes, you know, some people are still mesmerized by it. <laughs> that was weird. But anyways, yeah, they were just looking at my face like, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, they're listening properly to me. And then I just like, I was like, okay, let me go to the bathroom. And then I went to the bathroom. 
and I saw I had brown lints all over my face which looked like I have a mustache and a beard and just hairy everywhere so I'm like oh my god you probably think I'm so hairy and growing a mustache now I realize why they laugh and stare at me all the time so that's really embarrassing you know and some I even talked to some of my crush so <laughs> you know I guess guys are attracted to funny so I'm just like okay fine whatever and then I washed my face and then I went back I was like hey I shaved no, I'm just kidding. I was like, you know, it's clean. But yeah, the battery's running low, and I'll be back later. Okay, I'm back, and I put some falsies on, just so you know. You might wonder why I have thick lashes now, but yeah, I put some falsies on. So now we're moving on to number two. So when I was going to America, when I was I think 15 or 16 or 14, around that age. Um, when we were going home, actually, from America. No, I was in the plane, right? I was on my way home, and I was going to the bathroom, or as they call the lavatory. <laughs> Sounds so British. Oh. No, never mind. But yeah, I was in line, because there was somebody inside, and I was just standing there, I was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, there was this one guy, like an old man, he was about like 28, I think. I was 14, no, I didn't. I didn't find that attractive. But anyways, he was staring at me and he was like... He was staring at me. And I was like... Ew. You know, he was old. Oh, you know what I did? I was like... <laughs> I gave him the stare. I was like, please, you're too old for me. So, you know, he was smiling at me and I thought it was very weird for a kid to be smiled at by, you know, like a grown man. So anyways, I went inside the bathroom and I was just looking at my, you know, myself in the mirror and then I realized my zipper was wide open. It was like, hello, I'm a vagina. No, but you can really see like there was skin and then there was my panty. You know, you can see it. It was like down, like all the way down. So, you know, I figured, crap, he was laughing at me. He wasn't trying to flirt with me. So that was really embarrassing because I even made like a bitch face you know I, no, yeah I thought that was very embarrassing so on my way back to my seat I just didn't look at him I was just like my zipper was not open I thought that was pretty embarrassing number one okay I think this is the most I think embarrassing of all and I think if this happened to you you'd be pretty embarrassed and be like I want to die I was like nine when this happened and I was really young and you know I started having my boobs really early. During that time, I think I had like an eight cup, I think. And I wouldn't wear a bra because I was like, I'm too young for that. So, you know, I would just wear sandal bras. We went out that one Sunday night and I decided not to wear my sandal bra because I was wearing a halter top. You know what a halter top looks like? Imagine this shirt, but without the orange sleeves. So it was like up in my neck and then it goes down like that. That's a halter top. And I, I don't know, I just didn't wear a bra that time. And we were in a restaurant and, no actually we were in Dairy Queen, I remember that. And then I was trying to get an order. Do I have Jabbar? Yes, I have Jabbar. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying to get an order. So I was like raising my hand up. I was like, excuse me, excuse me. And then, you know, I didn't realize that my one boob was like popping out of my top Ugh. it was exposed it was like halfway out like that and I was like excuse me excuse me so can you just imagine I was raising my hand like that and then my boobs like no <laughs> trying to catch people's attention too so that was really embarrassing and my sister saw it good thing she saw it because if she did it I would probably have just left it there until we left Dairy Queen it was so embarrassing because she was like Dude! <laughs> And then we both just laughed until like we got home and then we told every well she told everybody and I was just so embarrassed by it. It's like my boobs and then I was around people, okay, like their queen was filled with people. Good thing nobody saw. Well at least I think nobody saw. It was so embarrassing, it's like 
flashing even before flashing was famous. So I just wanted to share that to you guys. Hope you guys had a laugh, you know, hearing my experiences, but I just really wanted to film a video for you. Please thumbs up. Um, comment down below your favorite embarrassing moment that I had. And also tell me what's your most embarrassing moment in the comment section down below. I would really want to hear it and tell me if you know some experiences that you have are far more embarrassing than mine then please tell me and you know cheer me up so thankfully I don't have any recent ones now that I'm older so thank god but yeah that's it hope you guys liked it and if you do please like comment and subscribe pass it on to be okay maybe not Yo yeah, yo yo yeah yo. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, okay. So I hope you guys stay in tune for my next video. I'll be making another one. That's it. Bye. God bless. Uh, it smells really good, and coverage of this is pretty good for loose powder, and it does the job pretty well. It mats out my face, and it stays like that for quite a long time.